Hey guys, um, so, this is different, okay, so, today I am going to be scaling the Alan Becker, uh, stick figures, because, um, because, uh, honestly, I feel like, uh, because I, will not feel like um i've done my research and i can definitely say that it is that the verse is way higher than you would originally think so first of all well, first of all this is going to be an all scale meaning we are going to be scaling with the animation versus minecraft animation versus animator animation versus math all of that um, or by what I know at this point, which I, I know a lot from watching all of it, so, eh, so, um, without further ado, let's get started. Let's start with animation versus Minecraft. Okay, animation versus Minecraft is very interesting, because... Well, since it's complete, since its lore is completely separate from the original Minecraft lore, this means that uh, we cannot just use the Minecraft scale to scale uh, this verse. It takes a lot more than that because simply <laughs> it is different. So first of all. Uh, we're going to be starting with King Orange. King Orange, uh, was someone who got the power of two Minecraft blocks. Well, like, the game itself. Two of them. And was able to create this portal black hole thing in the nether um it, it i honestly don't know how to describe it it was very interesting um so and he did that to free his son, but who cares about his son? Fuck his son. So, first of all, I'm going to just say that. So first of all, I'm going to just say that I don't, I don't, I don't know what it is, so I can't really scale it. I mean, maybe I can. I don't know. Unless I can, I, I don't know what it is, but I think, or actually, wait, I think I can scale that, um, so, first of all, it was something to, to, like, it bring his son back, now, it did not exist in his uh, universe, Minecraft did not exist in his universe, so he basically opened up a, a wormhole to the Minecraft universe to free his son. Um, now a wormhole warps, warps space and time. Now, I thought space and time was an outer versal structure. I don't think it is. Oh, ow. Um, so, what is it? I think it might be interdimensional. I think it might be an interdimensional type portal to, it, to access other universes. He was a... You know, the dude was able to create a multiversal wormhole... To free his son. I think that is multiversal, at least. I think that might be multiversal, being able to, you know, do that. So, 
I think it's multiversal. I'm pretty sure at least. I'm pretty sure anyway. If if you'd like to correct me, then please do that. Um but um I ain't gonna lie, King Orange is kind of the only thing really. Uh, other than Hero Brian, I guess. Um, I, I honest, I, I King Orange is really the only one who has feats. The other's feats is being able to contest with King Orange, but contesting with King Orange is, eh. Being able to survive the interdimensional attack is definitely impressive, but I don't know. I I I think I think that gets it to at least multiversal. If not, then that then animation versus Minecraft is definitely wall level due to the stick figures being able to de being able to destroy an obsidian stick figure. Yes, you heard me correctly. A stick figure made of obsidian. They were able to defeat that. So, it's either wall level, uh, to wall level plus, or multiversal. If it's not multiversal, then it's definitely wall level to wall level plus. If wall level plus even exists, but I don't think it does, so it's wall level. Um, now, next is... Uh, animation versus animator. This is where things get insane. So, <laughs> first of all, these stick figures have been known to be able to interact with reality in a sense. Being able to interact with Alan, either by talking to him, or just simply being able to access other, uh, other internet type things. Being able to go to his computer, to his phone, uh, being able to just, just, just being able to do stuff like that. Not really interact with reality other than being able to talk to Alan. Uh, but definitely be able to um, to get to other parts of technology. Which I think is also multiversal. I don't know. Uh, actually, now that I think about it, it probably isn't. But they are able to interact with Alan in such ways. Uh, but they really have not been able to really do anything that can, like, you know, harm Alan. Or can they? <laughs> See, um... Well, not being able to really harm him, they can harm his mouth, which is technically the avatar of Alan, if you really think about it. So, the Dark Lord, later in the series, was able to harm the mouse controlled by Alan. Um, so yeah. Which, I don't know where, really where that scales. Uh, um, I think it might scale really high. Possibly not. But they have been able to interact with Alan, which scales high, definitely. But... Mm. So, that, that, so they are at least, uh, well, animator, uh, animation versus animator hasn't really shown any feats, really, honestly. So, it might be 0D, unless being able to, you know, 
It, unless I, like, forgot something. But... I, I don't think it... I think it might be zero... A D. So right now the verse is so right now Ellen Baker's characters are um multiversal, which you probably weren't expecting. You were probably expecting it to be way higher. I honestly thought it was gonna be way higher as well. Ah, uh, I guess it isn't. Just kidding. It gets really high. So um let's see. Where do I <laughs> what do I do next? Okay. Hmm. Oh, I know. <laughs> so. Animation versus math. Alright. This this one is just going to scale. Uh, the second coming. Or SC as people like to call him. This guy, this, this is, this guy is honestly kind of OP in this one. So let's see, he inter, so he, in this video, he meets math. Yes, meets math. I'm not kidding. Then, he was able to battle math. Literally by eight. Then, on top of that, was able to defeat a power, uh, uh, an empowered math. Now, before you ask, what are you? And now I know what you're thinking. What are you talking about? So, um, to, to make this really clear, uh, the the math notation notation or concept or whatever that sc fought was called um cause x uh not x cause plus sin which is a mathematical notation literally look it up on google literally says so. um so <laughs> Um, what do I do next? Okay. Okay, so, that is, that, that sounds insane, right? That sounds really insane. Because it is. Math scales hyperversal. Therefore, SC being able to battle, defeat, and severely harm uh, the mathematical universe... He was in with his giant mega ray that he built out of math. He scales to high hyperversal, which is really high. Now, for the next one, also SC. This dude is literally the god in this universe. SC and his friend, I I think it was Green, was able to battle YouTube. Now, I know what to do next. YouTube. YouTube, in, in some works of fiction, fiction, is fiction, so it doesn't really scale anywhere, right? Wrong! In this version of YouTube, it, 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 it has videos from real life. Oh! Oh, wait! And on top of that, Green was put into one of these videos, literally interacting with reality. It has gotten to the point where these stick figures scale higher and higher every time we see them. Now, I know that some people think that interacting with reality in such ways doesn't scale anywhere when it really should, honestly. So, <laughs> where does this scale them? Really high. I, I don't know, honestly. Uh, because if it does scale high...
it like I think like I'm telling it should it should honest it should probably be you know extraversal or outer or something uh, I honestly can't tell you right now um so I'm gonna have to do some more research about that so for now the verse High hyperversal and having the ability to interact with reality in some way, shape, or form. Either by talking to Alan or being able to interact with reality in some ways. Actually, in that animation versus YouTube video, Green literally destroyed YouTube. Not the YouTube headquarters or whatever. Literally being able to break out of the screen. When he was made into a video, he was able to literally break out of the screen. By being able to literally, like, bend it. So I think that might be outer, honestly. <laughs> because he was able to interact with reality in some way. Being able to damage a real-life YouTube, and in the same way, being able to, and, and, and being able to interact with reality by talking to Alan, going through and going to his other technology or medias. So, uh, I'm scaling the verse to, uh, high hyperversal, possibly to extraversal, if you really, if, if I can somehow, if you really think that, uh, uh, uh being able to interact with reality by destroying the YouTube thing really scales, if you really think that scales then it's probably extraversal. I'm saying probably because something like that is hard to prove. And, well, yeah. So, <laughs> also, this is not going to be the only thing I'm doing in this video. In this video, I'm also going to be doing something that people have been debating about for some time now. Marvel versus DC. Now, people have been debating this for some time now, simply due to the fact that, well, fans of these universes l l want to see who would win, or in some, <laughs> and sometimes it gets a bit uh, more extreme than other debates. And I'm telling you right now. DC gets absolutely fucking folded. Holy shit. So, um, where do I start? Okay. So, first of all, being able to manipulate the plot, uh, like Cosmic Ar Armor Superman can do, does not scale anywhere. It's just a hack. It doesn't scale anywhere. Just because a character can manipulate the plot doesn't mean he's outerversal or extraversal or anything like that. To, to be something like that, you have to directly interact with reality in some way. And I mean, like, interact, interact. Not just by talking uh, to someone of reality like Deadpool, but you have to do other stuff as well. That's what the that's what the uh, stick figures do in Alan Becker's universe. That's what they're doing. They're not just talking with Alan. They're also doing other stuff, interacting with reality, being able to go to his other tech, being able to go to his other uh, media's, being able to interact with them. So scales them really high, and. 
well, not, and they're not just manipulating the plot, they haven't even manipulated the plot, but they're not just doing that, they're not just talking to Alan or anything, they're, they're doing other stuff that are, that could, that helps with them talking with Alan, you know? That's not what Cosmic Armor Superman is doing. All he did was manipulate the plot. He did not even interact with reality at all. Deadpool talking to the literal authors is more impressive than manipulating the plot. Therefore, Deadpool solos Cosmic Armor Superman with his fists. Okay? Scaling Cosmic Armor Superman to, uh, Multiversal or 5D. That's his scale. He is a fodder. Just because he can manipulate the plot doesn't mean he's... Ooh, he can manipulate the plot. He must be outerversal, extraversal. People have been trying to, uh... Ride the, music, ride the cosmology to, uh, to extraversal as well. When they literally have improved it to be... Meanwhile, Marvel's verse is literally outer to high outer. In fact, it could possibly be even extraversal. Some people have some people have proved it in the past, but now they say it's unreliable. But honestly, you could actually you could honestly arguably say that Marvel is extraversal. You can argue that honestly. Just because of how stupidly broken Marvel's verse is. Um It's just it's just stupidly broken and DC is is just stupidly fodder. Like, honestly the DC is uh is pos is high hyperversal uh <laughs> with uh, with, with, with some wanking, alright? You, you can, like, like, you can say DC is high hyperversal, but, like, that is the high-end scaling, alright? Low-end scaling is multiversal, so they're just, so it, it may honestly just be complex multi. And Marvel low-end is outer, and high-end is extraversal. So it's low-end literally scales a high-end uh, DC. So Marvel low-end absolutely, absolutely shits on high-end scaling DC. And <laughs> it that's just how it... I, I, hold on, hold on, actually, give me one second, give me one second. Okay, let me read off this feat real quick, from Thor. Thor pushed Yggdrasil, which has infinite universes, including Asgard, every moment in each universe creates infinite universes dimensions, which means one reality of Marvel's already in an infinite multiverse, because each moment creates an infinite multiverse, that means the whole universe is already having infinite universes. Each universe is boundless, I don't know about that, and have, and have infinite timelines as well. Each universe has a macroverse. Macroverse is reality above regular space or is a different dimension that have orbs containing pocket solar systems, tiny suns, baby planets, micro moons, and this and is a place that defy all physical laws. The macroverse is the opposite of the microverse, and one must grow to get there using PIM particles. That is, that is easily outer, okay? This is right, easily outer. So, and hold on again. Okay, I finally found it. Alright, so people have been scaling, have been trying to say uh, Superman is, um, like, uh, outer to extraversal and stuff like that. Okay, let's see. Let's see. So, in this... In this one comic, uh, page, uh, uh, someone scaled, it says, right here, 
like says, what are you doing? How are you? Uh, Superman says, my mind and body are stronger than they've ever been. Concepts like weight, distance, temperature, even space-time have largely lost their meaning for me. <laughs> okay, sure, bro. That, honestly, uh, that doesn't explain much, dude. That really does not explain much. Um... Okay, he said something to Scarelex. I asked for his help, that's why he went to, uh, War, War, War World. Sure. I asked M Mechanister Black, a criminal, to risk his life for people he'd never met, and even when the Justice League said no, he said yes, and you killed him. Maybe I'm miscalculating, maybe things will be easier. And now, this says, The next time you think you have the power to threaten my family or kill my friends with impurity, think again. He was, that was a threat. <laughs> and him saying, Concepts like weight, distance, temperature, even space-time have largely lost their meaning for me. What does that even mean, dude? What do you mean by that? That, all, that does not explain much. At all. That just... He's just saying... He, he's not really saying anything there. So... I honestly scale Superman to planetary. Because he has not shown really anything. He has not shown really anything. He's not really stated anything. I, I, maybe, he, maybe he's solar system level. I don't know. But he, Superman is not that powerful okay okay now here is now, now here's something else okay now this now this got me going crazy bro oh man all right so let's see where do i start trying to okay now people have been also saying that dc has infinite universes um now let's see here. Okay, here it is. Parallel universes in different timelines is different from infinite universes. <laughs> um, um, so let's see. Okay. And people have been trying to say... That this right here, where it says, where there once stood 52 universes walled off from the greater omniverse, there are now countless universes, and we can sense no boundaries. The manipulations of your homeworld timeline have been undone. Time has been restored in its proper configuration. Alright. <laughs> um, are you, like, huh? Honestly, don't understand what he just said there. That honest, honestly, that does not sound like a statement. If I were to guess, that sound to me, and, to, and I'm pretty sure to everyone else, that sounded more like, uh, just a quote or just something of a poem. That sounds like some. That sounds like something a poet would say. That does not sound like a statement. And no, I'm not, and, and I'm not, and I'm not trying to commit a fallacy here, I hope I'm not. What I'm saying is, is that, that does not sound like he's stating anything. That just sounds like he's, that just, that just kind of sounds like he's talking, like white noise. You know? That, it, that does not really state anything. 
Because it, it just... How do I explain this? Okay, where there once stood 52 universes, okay? Walled off from the greater omniverse, there are now countless universes, and we can sense no boundaries. That, that does, that sounds more, that, that sounds like he's just quoting. That just sounds like he made a quote of like a, a of like some poetry or something. Okay? The manipulations of your home world's timeline have been undone, and time has been restored in its proper configuration. That, I honestly don't know what that means. That, that, that does not, that, that, that sounds like it means nothing, to be honest. Um, there are infinite timelines in DC, I will say that, but, but, there are parallel universes in different Timelines. Different timelines. Parallel universes and different timelines, not infinite universes. Okay. So that so that was so really DC is just is just fodder. So, yeah, I honestly don't know what to tell you. Spider-Man has been scaled to outer. Thor's been scaled to outer. I'm pretty sure even Iron Man has been scaled to outer. Hold on. Okay, let's see here. Okay, so I just, like, didn't show. All right. All right, um... Okay, let's see. High Complex Multiversal. Okay, he has not been scaled to Outer, but he's been scaled to High Complex Multiversal. With the Infinity... Wait, is this the MCU or comics? Marvel Cinematic. Okay, so it's not the comics. Okay. There we go. Marvel Comics. Damn, even, even, uh, MCU Iron Man has been scaled, uh, to my complex multi. Okay, let's see. Wait, hold up, how, okay, how's the comic version lower than the cinematic version? Especially since the comic version has shown greater and more feats. That... Okay. Bruh. Okay, that's just showing what he has. Um, so, I don't know. Um, so, first of all, <laughs> Superman is not outer. Um, okay, let's see. 
Okay. The God Sphere. Okay, the God Sphere is 5D. We think it's some kind of map to the fifth dimension. The, the, okay. Mr. Mix stated that the main multiverse is 4D in the DC comics. Are you kidding me? <laughs> All righty. So, uh, honestly, uh, Marvel fucking bitch slaps a uh, DC, literally a Spider Man victim. <laughs> 